Suppose we have the unit circle with s to be at 1, 0. The origin is 0, 0. We'll draw alpha, label this point P. We'll draw beta, label this point Q. Then alpha minus beta is this angle, and we'll label this point R. Now, suppose P is located at A, B. Since this is a unit circle, sine of alpha is equal to B, cosine of alpha is equal to A, by the Pythagorean identity, sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha is equal to 1. And using A's and B's, we get B squared plus A squared is equal to 1. Now, suppose we have point Q located at C, D. By the same logic as the blue, sine of beta is equal to D, cosine of beta equals C, D squared plus C squared is equal to 1. Now, let's say R is located at F, G. Then sine of alpha minus beta is equal to G, cosine of alpha minus beta is equal to F, and G squared plus F squared is equal to 1. Now, consider angle ROS is going to have this chord RS, and this angle POQ is going to have this chord PQ. These two angles and these two chords are going to be congruent to each other. Therefore, RS is equal to PQ. Recall that these are our four points for R, S, P, and Q. Now, the distance from R and S, we're going to use the distance formula. It will be the square root of the difference of the x value square plus the difference of the y value square. And the distance from P to Q is going to be the square root of the difference of the x value square plus the difference of the y value square. We're going to square both sides and then simplify g minus 0 to be g. Now, f minus 1 quantity square is f square minus 2f plus 1. g square is just g square. a minus c quantity square is a square minus 2ac plus c square. b minus d quantity square is b square minus 2bd plus d square. Now, we'll notice all these highlighted parts. We have that f square plus g square is equal to 1. a square plus b square is equal to 1. And c square plus d square is equal to 1. We'll subtract 2 both sides to get negative 2f equals to negative 2ac minus 2bd. We'll divide both sides by negative 2. We're left with f is equal to ac plus bd. Now f was originally cosine of alpha minus beta. a was cosine of alpha. c was cosine of beta. b was sine of alpha. And d was sine of beta. And from this, we get that cosine of alpha minus beta is equal to cosine of alpha, cosine of beta plus sine of alpha, sine of beta which is the cosine difference formula. Subscribe for more math content. Thank you.